Roth, Blake Ashby, Dan Taxation Step Berman, Keenan Wallace Dunham, uh, Mark Whitney the third, uh, and then Arvind Bora and Max Abramson. And Eric Gerhardt was added. And Eric was added at the end, so Eric, please come up. What's Eric's last name? Gerhardt. Some random guy is going to sit on the end, too. Get a little closer. Nobody knows who he is. You're cool. Yeah, Eric's the last name. Yeah, Eric's the last name. You really want to vote, Greg, because... <laughs> May I ask my time to risk? Gerald. Barnaby is the time to Barnaby, thank you. Mr. Diaz, as a, an elected libertarian, uh, I feel like we can entrust you with this option. Point of order. Point of order. I, I, so I, the meeting is actually not in session right now, so there is no point of order. Um, <laughs> but if you'd like to say something, you can just say it. I would. Uh, one of the questions that we answered was, I want you to suspend the rules to allow the, the uh, prior to candidates from being involved in the debate, we only voted on suspending the rules. We never actually voted on allowing those two candidates to be a part of our debate today. I'm going to pull this out of order. Um, <laughs> which I am not allowed to do. We should show you that we are not in session. <laughs> to that end, we have our candidates on our level. We are going to start off with an opening statement. Uh, Opening statements were originally designed to be two minutes, and I want to stick to that because you guys were given that uh, as a time. We will probably uh, be pushed for time with a few extra candidates. So if you feel like you can get it done in 30 seconds, that would be okay. But that being said, I am going to start with Mr. Whitney from the end, and we'll move down the end. And then successive questions, we will see one person down and we will start. Oh, this means that if you start, you have 30 seconds remaining. Please stop. Right, instead of mic all the way down. I'm sorry, I should have recognized this mic. This end is started now. How's that? There we go. How you doing, everybody? Mark Whitney. It's great to be back here in New Hampshire. Uh, I was born in a little town, Hubbard, Vermont, 200 people, and the joke is uh, when I left, they had to change the sign. And uh, back in those days, you couldn't elect a Democrat in Vermont. We had uh, iconic senators like George Aiken, who happened to be a Republican in those days. He would say things like, the Vietnam, you know, let's just declare victory and go home. Uh, my oldest son, Michael, was born here at uh, Elliott Hospital. My youngest son was born at Dartmouth Hitchcock. And it's great to be back where I don't need to use the phone to find my way around. And I'm looking forward to a great five months on the road, meeting everybody across the country. Uh, my wife, Julie, I've known my wife, Julie, since the sixth grade when she moved up from East Orange, New Jersey. She went on to become the valedictorian of our high school in Brunton County, Otter Valley Union High School. I was a lousy student, but I married a valedictorian, and I think that should count. Um, I have been in the dreaded private sector my entire life. I am an entrepreneur. Uh, for the last 20 years, I've been president of a company called The Law.net. I've already taken on and participated very successfully against an entrenched duopoly known as Westlaw and LexisNexis, and many thousands of lawyers subscribe to my service. Uh, there's a good chance if you're a lawyer, it's a lawyer on Main Street, USA, when you go there and you have a legal question, that they bought the law from me. And uh, I am uh, looking forward to having a great debate here today with my libertarian colleagues. Uh, when I was a libertarian up in Vermont, we used to have our convention in a phone booth. And uh, today they don't even have phone booths anymore. 
So uh, looking forward to a great debate. Thanks very much. Thank you, Mr. Whitney. Mr. Gerhardt. Hello, my name is Eric Gerhardt. Here running because we all agree the government is not doing the job properly, or at least how the people would like it to be run. Two party system, bad cop, good cop is not getting the job done. It needs to be a different way with some new ideas, some fresh thinking about the environment, about the people, about the education of our children, and just caring <coughs> for one another. We just can't keep this glossing over all the simple facts and you know, get some stuff done. I have a no clue I've been a carpenter for 17 years. But, uh, I own my own business. I'm running it for about five years now. And uh, <coughs> this is my first chapter. So we'll take it. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Gerard.